All right, I'm back with another video breakdown, and because NFL is back in season, I decided to choose one of the most electrifying players in the NFL and Lamar Jackson. This is a run from 2019 against the Bengals, so let's roll the clip. He said broke his ankles. This is what we know about breaking ankles. Alright, so we're gonna run this back. Starting off. Alright, it's going east, west, and it gets north, south, alright? So, so dials back to where he starts going up the field, alright? What I like right here. As you can tell, he has a deep shin angle. So he's tacking back right here. His body position right here, right? So it's a little higher, but he's getting up too, right? So as we go, right here, right? You see how deep he gets? He's getting up field, right? His pad level is low, shin angle is low, right? He's trying to get upfield that nice big hole his offensive lineman created, right? Now, for today's breakdown, we're really going to be focusing on his acceleration position, shin angle, because he's running in close quarters, right? So he's never going to ever get into um, top end. He's not going to be running at his highest velocity, right? Because in close quarters, acceleration, change direction, it's a lot of decel, excel, right? So he's going to be low for the most part, right? And if you haven't heard me talk about low, not really mean low as short pads as low as possible, but low in optimal position, that's for acceleration, right? So as we go, again, like I said, He's low, he's bringing short pads low, but what I do like right here, again, even though they don't match, he's tacking back and his torso angle is back is flat, he's moving forward, right? He's really trying to get up the field. There's no waste in movement once he puts that foot on the ground, right? So that's what you want as a runner, um, running back, whoever. Once you catch the ball, you want to get up field. So as we go, he's going through, all right? And right here is where you start to notice a little casting, all right? If you don't know what casting is, casting is when your shin angle instead of, like right here, if we look. So I'm gonna draw this diagram. So yeah, it's torso angle here, here, and then right here, right? Right now, that's a pretty good position, right? The shin somewhat matches his torso. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right. So what casting is, is notice how instead of attacking back, that shin comes forward. So obviously he's moving, but that he doesn't attack down and back. That shin continues to move forward, and now he's hitting the ground like this, right? So what that means, that means big breaking force, right? But like I said previously, he's in close quarters, so he needs to be able to stop in the dime. So we're not really focusing on how fast he's maintaining speed, more so how quick he can change direction and then accelerate again, right? So this is gonna be common, um, especially, right, his weight's still forward because he needs to be able to drop his hips and change direction. Zoom back out. So moving forward. Now, as he goes, like I said, it's a little casting, but see how shin angle is more vertical and he's horizontal on that shin angle. Put this in red. It's more vertical, right? Again, he's trying to stop the dime. He got to accelerate, decelerate go for it, right? Especially here, you notice it, right? But he's 
getting up tall, but that's because he's about to drop and make a move. All right. Right there. And he gets up. So right here. All right. Ideally, if he could drop that shin more, but again, he's up tall and dropping his hips and then getting out of that position. Again, pad level is low. Just in case there's contact, he can protect the ball. All right, again, like I said, it's gonna be a little casting. He reaches out just a little bit, but that's because he needs to really drop down. Hips drop, and that lets you know he's going to change direction. Boom, puts that foot in the ground. Gets a little high at this spin move. All right, but he's, he's athletic enough, right? Makes three defenders miss. All right, look at this dude. This dude about to fall on his butt. A dude about to tear his ACL real quick, all right? So once he makes that spin move, go back. No, his foot down into the ground. And this next step right here is going to be crucial, right? Because he has to get, go zero to 100 real fast, right? Gets great body position, great extension, right? This is a back leg. Right there. If we could see on the opposite side, you could tell he has bent knee right there, right? Great extension. Again, like I said, he's accelerating. He's getting vertical, right? He made his move one foot down, and he's getting vertical, right? Shin angle, tags it back. He's landing close. There's a little to no gap right here. That's good. That, he's seen the open, open field, open grass, so he's really trying to get out there, all right? He's driving knees. Again, great extension. This is probably his best position so far, but that's because, again, it's open field. He sees the end zone, right? He's attacking. It's a little, a little more breaking force, all right? And from here, he's transitioning up, right? So he never gets up tall, but he's transitioning up. Can't really see too much because of the defender. Makes a cut, finds another gap. And again, gets in the end zone, all right? So with Lamar Jackson, I mean, he, he's a very gifted athlete. Um, biggest things that I see from him when he runs is he's very horizontal, all right? He's trying to get horizontal. He's trying to get up the field. Pair that up with his ridiculous turnover, Again, turnover is not about what you do on the ground, it's what you do in the air to set up the position you hit on the ground to eventually push yourself forward, right? Those two things is what makes him fast, right? So he gets upfield, he's very horizontal. Again, with football, it's about acceleration, deceleration. You're, not, you're really gonna see people hit top end, um, high velocities like that. So that's why the 40s tested because for the most part, if you do it right, you're accelerating the whole time in the 40, right? Um, yes, you get up tall, but your mechanics are going to look a lot different. So I'm not going to be as picky with any football player compared to a track athlete because, again, the bands of sports are different. So that's a breakdown for Lamar Jackson. Obviously, wishing him best of luck this upcoming season, which he says healthy. I'm um, looking forward to doing more breakdowns on him and seeing more electrifying plays.